basically our assessment of the situation, the type of crime that Vermillion is experiencing currently, uh, and basically what we evaluate what approach would best help us to deal with that uh, the situation as far as the crime goes and, and what can best benefit the community and so that's where our approach came from and that's where the philosophy of increased alcohol enforcement is founded. Uh, property damage, thefts, uh, a lot of the items uh, taken are in the kind of the central sector of the, of the Vermillion area uh, and are obviously attributable to alcohol consumption so uh, you know the incidents that we deal with commonly range from those types of incidents all the way up to uh, physical assaults, sexual assaults and the fact is that we can attribute the vast majority of those to alcohol and its consumption. It's basically anytime we have the opportunity to uh, use a tool, uh, in this case a law, uh, underage consumption, open container, any of these types of laws or ordinances, anytime we have the opportunity to utilize any of those to curb the use of alcohol, we're going to do it because we feel that it, as a foundation it affects the other crimes that, it, that we see occurring in Vermillion. And since you started with this new policy, have you noticed a decrease in those other crimes? Would you say that this policy is then working? You know, I think it's a little early to, to show uh, statistically that there's a decrease in those types of crimes. Uh, what we can certainly show is that there has been an increase in in uh, the alcohol related uh, arrests and uh, you know, I think over time uh, the hope is that we'll be able to demonstrate that there's a uh, decrease in, in some of these other collateral crimes.